Well, we got the embassy. There was cattle cars waiting for us. There were 28 cars of men and women Marines. There weren't that many women on it, but there were cattle cars waiters, and they brought us from Yamasee down here. And I don't remember too much what happened for the next few days. You know, you go, 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 state of shock. We joined the Marine Corps to relieve a man to fight. And that was the extent of it. I know how I had to react when we made up the 3rd Marine Division in 53, how I went to work and practically lived at motor transport in order to get their gear out for them. And I know how it was after President Kennedy backed the missiles off in 62 from a supply standpoint. And that's when I found out how important my job was and what I was actually contributing to the Marine Corps. I'm still proud. I may be retired, but I'm still a Marine, and I'm still very proud of it, and I help anybody, you know, that I can. I see a lot of people come in the shop, former Marines, and, you know, this sort of thing. Being a Marine, you seem to be closer together, closer knit, because there were so many things you had to do, and, you know, there was no such thing as a 40-hour work week. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Simplify, always faithful.